This screencast is one in the series on process calculations, and the title is Examples for a Single Unit Process. And the content is the six step methodology we're going to apply, and two examples example 2 1 and example 2 3. The first item, first step in the six step methodology, is clarification of process conditions. Number two is to draw a process chart with clear system boundaries and all the stream variables. Number three is to perform a degree of freedom analysis to determine whether a system can be solved or not. Number four is to develop the system of equations. Number five is to perform a computer-aided solution. And six is to present a clear answer to the problem. Let's start with example 2.1. The input stream, the feed to separation process, contains 500 kilograms of ethanol and 500 kilograms of water. There are two output streams from the process, one containing 460 kilograms of ethanol and 60 kilograms of water. How much ethanol and water leave the system in the other stream? The first step is to clarify the process conditions. This is a non-reaction system, it's a steady-state system, and the problem is stated in terms of mass units. This means that the mass balance equations will be on the form input equal output. The second step is to draw the process chart with clear system boundaries and all the stream variables. Here we have two components. So let ethanol be component A, and let water be B. There's one input stream and two output streams. The next step is to perform the degree of freedom analysis. And here I've drawn two charts that should help us to perform this analysis. The number of degrees of freedom is calculated, starting with the number of stream variables, which is six, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The number of specified stream variables, 1, 2, 3, and 4. The number of mass balances we can set up, which is 1 for each component. And that gives us the degrees of freedom, which is 0. That means that this problem can be solved with the equations we have available. The fourth step is a system of equation that should represent the system we have to the right. The system of equation consists of only the two mass balance equations. The mass balance for component A says that 500 should equal 460 plus W3A, while the mass balance for B says that 500 should equal 60 plus W3B. We can write this in matrix notation, A times X equals Y. A is a matrix of coefficients, and X is a column vector, including all the unknown stream variables, W3A and W3B. And the coefficient matrix becomes minus 1 and 0 for the first mass balance, and for the second mass balance, 0 minus 1. And the right-hand side is 460 minus 500 and 60 minus 500. Multiplying both sides with minus 1, we will get that the matrix coefficient is 1 and 0, 0 and 1, while the right-hand side becomes 40 and 440. Now, this actually gives us the values of W3A and W3B, but let's go to MATLAB and make the numerical cal calculation just to refresh ourselves regarding how to do it. The first thing we do is to find the coefficient matrix. A equals 1, and 0, 0, and 1. And Y, the right-hand side, is 40 and 440. Which means that the solution X equals A slash Y. And we get 40 and 440. And now it's time to give a clear answer that the amount of ethanol 
in stream 3, W3A is 40, and the amount of water in W3B is 440. Let's go to the next example, example 2-3. The input stream, the feed to separation process, contains 500 kilograms of ethanol and 500 kilograms of water. There are two output streams from the process, one containing 400 kilograms, out of which 96% is ethanol. Calculate the mass fractions of ethanol and water leaving the system with the other stream. First, we should clarify the process conditions. This is a non-reaction -st system. It is a steady-state system. And the problem is stated in terms of mass units. We now draw the process chart with system boundaries and stream variables. We have two components. Ethanol is A and water is B. We have one input stream and we have two output streams. So when we make the degree of freedom analysis, we can see that the number of stream variables is 6. The same 6 stream variables as in example 2.1. The number of specified stream variables are 2, and that is the 500 and the 500 in stream 1. We can set up two mass balances, one for component A and one for component B, and the number of subsidiary process information is 2, and they both refer to the conditions in stream 2. That is, the 500 kilograms of total and the concentration of A in stream number 2. The degrees of freedom is consequently 0. Let us set up the system of equations. We have two mass balances and two subsidiary informations. The mass balance for A says that 500 equals W2A plus W3A. They are both unknowns. The mass balance B is 500 equals W2B plus W3B. And the first information says that the W2A plus W2B equals 400. The second information deals with the concentration of A in stream number 2. And it says that the ratio between W2A and the sum of W2A plus W2B equals 0.96. And this can be written as seen here. Minus 0.0 for W2A plus 0.96 W2B equals 0. This can be written in matrix notation. In this case, X contains four stream variables, all the unknowns, W2A, etc. And the coefficient matrix contains all the coefficients for these variables in the different equations. Let's look at the first line. It says that the first one should be multiplied be with W2A, which corresponds to this term in mass balance A, while this one should be multiplied by W3A, and it corresponds to this term in the mass balance equation. And the 500 corresponds to the 500 in the right-hand side. Now we can go to MATLAB and make the actual calculation. This time we're going to make the calculations in an M file. The first thing we do is to create an M file, a new M file, which we save in a folder. And this folder, in this case, is on my desktop, and I call this x2 underscore 3. And that only contains the, the matrix of coefficients. And that was 1, 0, 1, 0.
That was the first line, 0, 1, 0, 1, whoops, 0, 1. was the second line. The third line was 1, 1, 0, 0. That is the um, constraint regarding the total amount in the output string 2. And then we have the coefficients that we got because of the 96% of ethanol in the, or the, in the output stream 2. So this is A. And Y, 500, 500, 400, and 0. And x is calculated as a slash y. Now I save this, I close it, I set the path to the folder where I can the demos folder. And now I can simply write x two three run this file and I get the result so now is the time to give the clear answer calculate the mass fractions of ethanol and water leaving the system with the other stream and here I calculated the mass fractions from the data I got and it sh turns out that the mass fraction of A in stream number 3 is 0.193 and the mass fraction of B in stream 3 is 0.807. In this screencast, we have applied the six-step methodology and we have solved examples 2.1 and example 2.3.